Get ready for cargo shots from the Stat Trade Times, presented by Hattil. Here's a weekly roundup of the latest air freight and logistics news. Earbuds to e-scooters, lithium-ion batteries power every device we use in our daily lives. But how do we transport shipments containing these dangerous goods safely across the world? Hong Kong Air Cargo Terminals Limited is doing something new and different to address this challenge. Stay tuned for the details in today's episode of Cargo Shots, presented by Hacktil. This is Nehal Gautam, and here are our top headlines. Major air cargo players report mixed H1 2024 results. The air cargo industry saw a mixed bag of financial performances from some of the major players in the first half of 2024. Etihad Cargo reported a 10% increase in revenue at $507 million compared to $462 million the previous year, primarily driven by higher demand and higher cargo capacity of the fleet. Cargo carried was up 17% at 320,000 tons. Cathay Cargo reported a 1.5% revenue increase to 10.9 billion Hong Kong dollars, driven by a 10.4% growth in total tonnage to 719,000 tons. In contrast, IAG Cargo's revenue fell 6% to 566 million euros, even as cargo ton kilometers rose 12% to 2.5 billion. The decline was attributed to a 16% decrease in revenue per cargo ton kilometers to 22.78 euro cents. Air Canada's cargo revenue declined 4% to 445 million Canadian dollars on lowered Atlantic yields. Notably, in the first quarter of 2024, Air Canada removed the addition of two Boeing 767 freighters from its 2024-2025 fleet plan in order to adjust its freighter capacity plans as per the market conditions. As of June 30, 2024, Air Canada operated six Boeing 767 freighters, maintaining the same number as on June 30, 2023. LATAM to boost cargo capacity between Europe and South America LATAM Cargo Group will increase its services by adding two weekly flights from Europe to South America and vice versa starting October 1, 2024. This expansion would enable the airline to offer over 600 tons of cargo capacity on dedicated freighters weekly between Europe and South America, in addition to the existing 1,100 tons through LATAM's passenger planes. In total, the airline group will offer more than 1,700 tons of cargo capacity distributed among eight points in South America and 10 in Europe. Matthias Cortina, Vice President Commercial for Europe at Latin Cargo, said the move will provide customers with improved connectivity and increased capacity. Qatar Airways Cargo introduces My Allotments feature on Digital Lounge. Qatar Airways Cargo has launched the My Allotments feature on its Digital Lounge portal, allowing customers to easily track available inventory and optimize shipment planning. This personalized allotment view and instant booking confirmations aim to prevent overbooking and make the entire booking process more efficient and seamless for customers. The Digital Lounge portal also offers features like auto confirmation for bookings, 24 7 help desk, and advanced tracking and tracing, aligning with Qatar Cargo's continuous efforts to enhance the customer experience. Still wondering what new and different Hong Kong Air Cargo Terminals Limited or HACTIL has done for lithium battery shipments? Let me end the suspense here. Hactil has just launched a dedicated storage zone for lithium batteries. The new zone, featuring enhanced safety measures, includes CO2 fire suppression systems, fireproof partitions, and increased fire extinguishers to manage the risk associated with lithium batteries. LED signage helps in proper storage and efficient retrieval, while the automated box storage system has been reprogrammed to store stillages containing lithium batteries in positions that would isolate them from other shipments and are accessible to firefighting. Wilson Kwong, Chief Executive Officer of Hactil, emphasized that these steps are crucial for ensuring safety as the air cargo industry handles more lithium battery shipments. The August edition of our publication, The Stat Trade Times, is out. The latest edition delves into the growing collaboration across the supply chain to ensure better animal care in air transport, focused on planning, standardizing processes and training personnel, 
the surge in passenger to freighter conversions driven by e-commerce growth and the potential of air cargo community systems in shaping the future of cargo operations. The publication also examines the critical role of onboard couriers in delivering time-sensitive shipments and explore the rise of Latin America's air cargo sector despite facing some challenges. Before we wrap up, remember to mark your calendar for August 22nd, 2024 in Mumbai, where the Global Pharma Logistics Summit will take place. Hosted by the Indian Transport and Logistics News, a Stat Media Group publication, this one-day conference will bring together over 150 professionals and 30-plus speakers to discuss the future of pharma logistics. With engaging business sessions, impactful presentations and exclusive on-stage interviews, the summit aims to foster ownership and responsibility in building resilient pharmaceutical supply chains. So, don't miss out. Thank you for joining us on this week's Cargo Shots. Stay ahead by subscribing to our YouTube channel and visiting www.stattimes.com for daily news updates. We'll see you next week with more Cargo Shots. You've been watching Cargo Shots from the Statrade Times, presented by Hacktil. See you next week with more updates from the air cargo and logistics industry.